Hi everyone. Okay, we have been getting a lot of questions from our clients about how we can create a um, fancy professional uh, signature for your Gmail. So we wanted to create a little video tutorial just to walk you through that process so that you can also create a very professional looking signature for your email um, for your own business. So we're specifically talking about Gmail here. Um, some other platforms don't always allow you to have clickable icons here. So this is um, specific to Gmail. So um, this is an example of our email signature and we'll walk you through the process of how we do that. So the very first thing that we would recommend you do is source some inspiration. So um, one of the best places to source information actually is Etsy because you can go ahead and purchase a lot of signatures out there. Um, if you don't want to spend the time doing this yourself, then go ahead and purchase one. I mean, you can get signature templates in here for five, six bucks. So definitely not a bad deal at all. But this is a really good space just to source some inspiration and take a look at how they're designed. You have a circle image of your um, profile. You have social um, I or uh, icons to communicate how to contact you. You have um, fun like little bars and things to play with, scripty fonts. This one is a half a uh, half sort of window image of yourself. So this is just a really good spot to go to source inspiration, see what you like, and then um, you can sort of pull in those elements yourself. So next, after you have sourced some inspiration that you're really loving, pop into Canva. Canva is actually a free service, so you can go ahead and use this um, completely for free, which is awesome. So we'd go ahead, you want to start a brand new design. I already have one open right now, but you'll do a custom size and your size will be 800 by 400. So if I were to show you how to do that, um, it would be custom size down here, create a design, custom size. We do 800 by 400, create new graphic, and then it will pop up as an empty canvas for you. So this is when you would start adding in your own elements. Um, this, for example, it could be your profile picture. You can add in little boxes, um, play around with some different sizes um, of this kind of stuff. Add in, if you have your brand colors in here, you can go ahead and change your brand colors um, when you're dropping in a picture. So here is our um, finished template here. You can see that we've added in um, a little scripty font for our name. We have a circle of our profile. Um, we highly recommend that you do show your pretty little face in this um, signature because that is what's going to make your, your communication back with potential customers and clients just really more personal. It's um, everyone likes to see a face to uh, who they're talking to. So we highly recommend including a face of yourself and not making this just your company logo. So um, after that, you can see that we have just a little title for ourselves, um, our phone number and our website. We don't often include our email, although you might want to, um, depending on how people are sourcing you. But since um, we're responding from our email, we don't typically include that in here. And then one really big thing to remember is in order to create a clickable um, signature, you will need to have your social icons living at the bottom. So you'll notice that we don't have them designed in here and that is on purpose because we know that we'll have to have those at the bottom. So um, that is everything to design your main signature piece. And now we are going to walk through your social icons. So you're going to do the same thing as before, create a custom design. Um, the size of this one is 50 by 50. So that just gives you a little bit of space to work within here. We wanted our icons to be a little bit smaller. So you can see that these circles are actually 30 by 30. So we like our social icons to live in little circles here. You can do squares, you can do um, rounded squares, you can really play around with whatever uh, element you want. You don't even need to have them encompassed in a circle, but we sort of recommend it just so that people feel like there's a button there that they, they can click. So really pick the element of your choice, drop that in, change the size, 
And then all you simply need to do is search for um, the appropriate icon. So you simply drop that in. When you drop it in, you can see that you can then change the color. We have ours being white, but you could easily um, change this out to be your brand color if you want it to be reversed. So say we want to do um, do them like this. You can do something like that too and play around with the different um, colors that you have for your brand. So after um, you've done this, we recommend first download, when you've finished your um, main signature template, download that and do not check transparent background on this one. This is gonna be really important. Keep this as a regular, um, a regular white background or whatever color that you've chosen. And then social icons for this one, we want you to make sure you select a transparent background. And all this means is that this white behind your icon is going to become transparent so that whenever anyone is on dark mode, this will show up as a block, but these will show up as um, just the circles that they are. If you don't select transparent background, it'll be little boxes, especially when someone is in dark mode looking on their phone or when their battery is dying, which we all know what that what that looks like. So um, we recommend doing transparent for the social icons. So you download all of those and then you are ready to pop into your Gmail settings. So now once you've popped into your Gmail settings, you will see your signature show up here. So we recommend doing, um, I'm just gonna create a new signature. So label what your signature is going to be. And then the very first thing you do is you're going to drop in um, your main signature up top. Once you've dropped that in, you'll notice that this is rather large in my space right now. So if you click on it, you can play around with the sizes right here. You can do obviously really small. Um, we right now sort of like ours being a large size, so that's what it's sized as. Obviously, you can test this out, um, save it and test it out just to see how that works. So um, right now we're keeping this a large size. I'm going to arrow over and hit enter. And now here is where I'm going to add in my individual social icons. One thing I want to note is that when you're adding in images here, oftentimes it will show you my drive. We recommend actually uploading the images from your desktop versus doing your drive because a lot of times um, your drive images can get disconnected and then it will cause sort of an error on that end. So we definitely recommend doing upload. There we go. Okay. Open this one. So my first icon is uh, Instagram. Again, you can change the size here. We definitely don't recommend that, um, but most of the times the original size is gonna work just fine. So um, that's why we sized it to be 50 by 50 so that it will work um, good. So once one is in, you'll just space so that it's easier for you to click on it and then add in the next one. So you'll do this for all of your icons. I'm gonna show you two of them right now just so that you can see. And then same thing and keep going until you have as many icons as you need. So then the next step is to simply take your cursor and highlight. And this is why we add spaces because then it's a lot easier to highlight them. Um, okay, so you'll highlight your first one and then down here, there's this little link button. So that's what I'm gonna select. And then this is where you add in your address. So um, Instagram, and then you'll do the same thing for Facebook. And there you are. So then if you hit save, changes. This is showing my old version right now, but um, I'm just going to change that out. 
if you have two signatures, you'll want to make one um, your approved signature that's added automatically every time. Otherwise, if you want to add in other signatures, you can simply go here down at the bottom. So insert signature, I'm going to insert test. And then the best way to do to test it out is to actually just email yourself and then make sure they're clickable. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is it. It's as simple as that. So you can very easily pay the five dollars just to get something templated out for yourself. But you will also need to make sure that you add in the social icons separately so that they are all um, linked to go where you want them to go for your social. So um, this is just a really good way to convert your clients and potential customers at the end of the day and to have them follow you and engage with you on a deeper level. If you have any more questions, please do not be afraid to comment below and we will answer them for you. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.